are you ready to take your writing about reading up a level? I think so. If you're feeling like this is pretty easy, I do this all the time, or maybe today just felt really comfortable and maybe just a few little reminders helped you really accomplish exactly what you wanted to do. Great. What you want to do then is you want to try something that's harder. And I already have some stuff prepared for you to do this. One way readers take their writing about reading up a level is just by using higher level thinking prompts. So you can get started by going to our Padlet for this unit on Google Classroom. It's called a deep study of character. You'll see it listed in classwork. It's going to be listed at the top with the other Padlets and also in the online resources. Go over to where it says Thought Prompts. You'll see the one from today. You can use this whenever. And then below it, you'll see one from last year in fifth grade. Maybe you recognize it. I like this one a lot because when I know I'm about to share my writing about reading with others, or even if I'm not going to share, I like to imagine I am by thinking about how I would talk about the book or talk about my idea. Let me try this right now. I'm going to use the when I first read this one to push my other dots from today a little bit further. So I'm going to take the last one that I wrote before, like after we parted. I'll read it to you and then I'll show you how I can just use this to push it even higher. Another place that shows this is in the middle of the story when Will is watching Mitch another fourth grader who some considered to be the funniest boy in the fourth grade. In this moment, Will starts to think about how Mitch gets to hang out with Sean because he makes him laugh. For instance, in the text it states, as long as he could make Sean laugh, he was assured a prominent position in the group. This makes me think that Will plans to sidestep him. As he watches, he also starts planning what he will do to earn a spot. So when I was writing this, I definitely had moments where I was like, ooh, that's kind of a new idea. And so if you feel like you were having that like little inkling to go there, or if you're rereading your thought, your dots and you're like, oh, I can kind of see another way this could go, go for it. And I'm gonna just, maybe I'll try another one. I'll add another color just to keep it really organized. And I'm just gonna try one of these thought prompts. When I first read this, I thought, but now after thinking more, I'm realizing, when I first read this story, I thought that Will was just really bitter and sarcastic, and he just was like really, he really hated the popular kids. But now, after thinking more, I'm realizing that he just desperately wants to be one. And it's not because he thinks he's better than them, it's just because he is maybe insecure about himself. And he hasn't quite yet learned that you don't need other people to validate who you are. Oh, I haven't thought about that yet. Do you see how I took what I've already written? I read it over to myself to remind myself of a big idea I was really pushing. I just tried a higher level thinking graph that made me think about the before and after reading the text again. I said it out loud. Maybe I would have just jotted that down, but it really made my writing about reading so much higher. So maybe you choose this one. There's also some other ones that are super, super um, powerful. For instance, the higher level thought prompt chart cards. These are ones that I often use with kids. Like I carry these around for myself, but today I'm gonna give them to you to see if you could use them. You'll see a lot of things like comparing and contrasting your thinking from when you first read it to be to later on. You'll see that there's some, way, some places here where you can be pushing things that seem interesting, but you don't really know what they mean yet. If you feel like you want an extra challenge, try the teacher cards. Those are pretty high level. And then finally, you might recognize ways to push your thinking. That's my go-to. Whenever I just need to write more or see where else I can go with stuff, I use that one. So what you could do is you could go to the Padlet, a deep study of character. You'll find it on Google Classroom. Pick some thought prompts, reread your writing about reading, and then go for it. See what else you can do. It's gonna be great.